Hello, I'm Lisa, and welcome to Namaste Today, More Mindful Living Thoughts. And today I would like to begin part two of my uh, more mindful, more thoughtful, natural skin routine. So I'm going to begin with, after the shower, I tone the skin, and I use um, the Thayer's Witch Hazel. Right now I am using this uh, lavender scent. I am very big on scent. It's just something that I really appreciate in my life. It's huge to me and um, lavender is something that I enjoy. So I use this to tone the skin and what I like about the Thayer's is it's alcohol free and uh, because I, I don't particularly have overly dry skin but I am older, I'm a mom and a grandmother, and so I do not want to dry my skin if I can help it. So that's why I turn to the Thayer's Toner. It does leave my skin feeling um, very smooth and um, it, I, it leaves my skin just a bit damp, and what I appreciate about that is just that bit of dampness allows me to apply a daytime moisturizer with uh, a bit of sunscreen in it to smooth very easily. I can use a bit less and uh, it just floats over my skin and then is absorbed quite well. And the same in the evening with my evening moisturizer. Now I am using the lavender, but I have to tell you, I really prefer the rose and I believe this is, yes, Rose Petal Thayer's Witch Hazel Toner. And what I love about this, of course, it works the same, but it's the fragrance. To me, this is a much more natural fragrance. The lavender is just okay. It does not have a true lavender scent. And so as soon as this bottle is finished, and I'm, I will be there shortly, and I will have to tell you, I will be happy about that. I look forward to returning to the rose scented witch hazel. Again, it's just fragrance, but fragrance is very important to me. At night after my shower and my toner, I use rosehip oil. This is the Aracacia Organic Rosehip Oil. And I began using this because I was looking for again, a more natural product for my, my skin. And um, this is how I use it. It doesn't take very much. I just put a simple pump in the palm of my hand. This is what it looks like. Oh, you can see it's already beginning to move. Um, the fragrance is not like roses. <laughs> Of course, you know the rose hip is not a rose petal and it does not have a wonderful fragrance. Since I'm using this in the evening, I also add just one drop of the Aracacia um, Lavender because lavender, of course, is a scent that is very relaxing and I just simply put one single drop. Now, I prefer to use the lavender, but you can use any essential oil. Now I just rub it on my face and my neck, throw it down into my chest, but um, I have makeup on, so I'm not going to do that now. <laughs> I'm just going to moisturize my hands with it. Oh, and it is the most wonderful fragrance. I have used other fragrances for the evening um, just by adding different essential oils, but I always come back to the lavender for um, my time. And I tell you, to lie in bed and allow this scent to just sink into my skin, nourishing my skin, and to inhale this fragrance with every breath before bed is just very relaxing. Oh, Abby's daddy is home from work. I'll be right back. <laughs> so as I was saying, Rosehip oil, the benefits, let me just tell you some of the benefits. It, it is a natural botanical source of um, vitamin A or retinol, and this actually has vitamin E added as well. So this nourishes and uh, just rejuvenates 
mature skin, dry skin, and it, I do love the texture of my skin since I've been using this. Um, it can help over time with the fine lines and wrinkles. I want to also tell you about a product that I use for um, a freshening breath, but even much more than that is um, food grade hydrogen peroxide. Have you ever heard of that? You can find this at your um, local health food store in the refrigerated section. It does come in a plastic bag, it is sealed, and um, I keep it in this bag. You continue to store it in the refrigerator. I also keep this in my refrigerator. It's just a glass jar, a glass um, bottle with a glass um, dropper. This is, I have just put, uh, filled this bottle with the hydrogen peroxide and uh, this is just about as much as you need. So I would take a, about a dropper full and I mix the hydrogen peroxide with um, the Tom's, the Tom's mouthwash. And I also mix just a, a little bit of um, water with this. You can just Place it in your mouth and gently move it along your um, gums and around your teeth for teeth whitening. This will whiten your teeth and if you will just read the back of your, like say, crest strips, crest whitening strips, the main ingredient is hydrogen peroxide. When it's foaming up, it is um, cleaning. It's cleaning the bacteria held in your mouth. And what I have noticed is it between your teeth, even after you are, you're finished using it, you'll spit it out in the sink, bring a little water into your mouth, swish the water, and um, spit that out. If you will go and look in a mirror, you will see between your teeth, it continues just to bubble up. And that bubbling is just continually removing the stains of your teeth. And because I love coffee so much, I um, do tend to have my teeth stained with coffee or even my tea. I also love Irish tea, which is very strong. And um, so I do tend to get staining on my teeth. But what I have noticed is, okay, this is another one of those, maybe it's an overshare, but it's something that you should know. I have noticed that when I look at the bubbling effect that has remained in my mouth and continues on in a close mirror, magnified mirror, what is being bubbled up, it's a bit brown. It's just bubbling up and removing the coffee and tea stains from between my teeth. And another thing that I have noticed, I'm getting so personal with you here today, but another thing I have noticed is that, um, you know that on your bottom teeth, you'll just get that, that natural plaque build up and that saliva will, as it remains in your mouth over the, the course of time, it just builds up that plaque between your bottom teeth. I have noticed that if I'll use like dental floss or uh, the dental floss plackers, after, directly after using the uh, rinse of the hydrogen peroxide water and Tom's mouthwash, that um, I can actually take just that dental floss and slide it between my teeth and it does help to remove that plaque. Well, this is the thing that you go to the dentist every six months to do your teeth cleaning and they're removing it and you know they're taking these metal tipped instruments and just, just, you know, it's torture getting that plaque off. So um, because I've been using this for a while, um, that has been something that my dental hygienist has told me that is much improved. So when I go for my every six month cleaning of my teeth, it is a lot easier on me. I'm a lot better off simply because I just use this occasional hydrogen peroxide mouth rinse. So give it a try, but please just read your instructions that will come inside um, your bottle and be very, 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 very careful. Let me just warn you that uh, you do want to 
avoid, as it says here, contact with your skin and your eyes. So you ha do have to be careful with this. Um, and so why, why would I tell you to use this if you have to be so careful? Well, you just have to be careful in handling it. It can burn your skin. And so this is how I use it. I open it, I open the little spout by protect and protect my hand by just putting this thick, heavy plastic bag between me and the opening. Even that much will burn your skin. And I found this out from just burning, um, it just burned my fingers to touch it that much. So please be careful with it. In the instructions, they do just um, suggest handling this hydrogen peroxide with rubber gloves. I encourage you, if you don't wanna do it the way I have continued to do it, just put your rubber gloves on. So I want to move on from um, just a routine into something that I do on occasion. And these are a couple of different masks which I have done in different ways. I'm going to start with the honey mask. Now, I received this raw honey for Christmas from Lillian, which you all, many of you all know, my daughter, who also has a YouTube channel. You need to check that out. But um, she gave this raw honey to me. This is raw organic honey. This is what it looks like. And uh, first of all, it tastes wonderful. I love the texture of the raw honey um, for eating. I could just dip it right out and eat it, and oh, I have. But um, when I use the raw honey, or even if I use just regular honey from my little honey bear or my honey angel, I do mix it up in a bowl and I place my leftovers in this glass jar that I have. Now what you see here is a mask that I used of honey and cinnamon. And um, the cinnamon is just, um, it brings a little bit of heat to the skin and I will just apply this honey as a mask, let it stay on and rinse it off. Um, just with warm water or wait in the shower, rinse it off in the shower. And I like that the honey, I feel like it just gives some stimulation. I mean, sorry, the cinnamon gives some stimulation to the skin. The honey is antibacterial, and so it makes just a wonderful cleansing mask. This is bentonite clay powder. This is the package that it came in. I ordered it from the Frontier Company which is just an online resource. This is how I store the bentonite clay powder. It is um, a volcanic ash. I turn this into a mask. So the bentonite clay is, um, it has an electrical charge to it. It's ionized. And um, there's, a, you might call it an electrical attraction. And it, this is just bound within the clay. So when you add water to it, it just releases this, um, this electrical charge is released. I won't go into a whole lot about this clay because I have um, made an additional video where I, I'll just teach you how I've used it. I'll show you the mixing of it and the application and my skin before and after. So, but I just wanna give you an idea of what I do. And it is, it does bring oxygen to the skin. Um, it draws out the impurities from the skin, the toxins from the skin and from the body, even deeper than just skin. It goes deeper than the skin. It just draws it out through the pores of the skin and it, these toxins are absorbed into the clay and they are bound inside the clay. And so they're pulled away from you and when you rinse it off, they are gone from your skin. So I love that. You can see what the mask looks like once it's mixed. This is bentonite clay, water, about a teaspoon of the raw honey that I showed you earlier and just the juice from one lemon wet. So these items I am using currently for my natural skincare routine. I hope that as I've shared with you today, you have found something that you would like to try. 
and I would love to hear how it works for you. So please feel free to leave me a comment and ask any questions. I'll be happy to answer them as best I know how. This is just from my personal experience that I share with you. So take a look below the video. I know I went through kind of quickly today on these um, products that I'm using. I will list them for you and maybe that will make your shopping just a bit easier. But please feel free to ask any questions that um, you have. So until the next time, thank you so much for joining me on Namaste Today, More Mindful Living. Namaste.